Hey! What's up, YouTube? Shoppers Therapy in the house! We're back! Like half the size we were about a few months ago. Yeah. I've been on the diet. Um, this shirt, actually, when you bought it, freaking, I'm floating in it now. It was tight last time. You're down what? 25 pounds? About 30 pounds? No, not that much. 25 pounds? 35 pounds? Yeah. Feeling good, feeling great. It's all these videos we're doing for you yeah, guys. Yeah, we're, yeah. Just, we're just like shaving them off. So we're just I, I feel better than I've ever felt. Um, so, little instruction. Non-alcoholic beer for two reasons. One, I'm cutting alcohol, Kev isn't. But oh. two, two most important is that uh, we're installing a car seat in a car and we like very condone drunken driving, drinking, driving, any some sort of substance abuse and driving. Um, but we love to taste the beer, so. Um, Plus it's our model, we yeah. always review beers, so, so why not review a non-alcoholic non beer? Bex! While we take care of these guys here. So, uh, my wife's car, my car over there. Um, we're gonna be putting in the Maxi Cozy uh, baby seat. For Micro now. AP. Micro AP. Yeah. Micro AP. So we're gonna be installing the car base. Um, basically, gonna show you guys how to do that. Uh, that's uh, and then we're gonna show you how to do the uh, adjustments on the actual on the actual bucket seat. Yeah. So, so this model's been out for a, a little while now. Yeah. But you know. Well. Truthfully, most bucket seats install pretty much the same way. Um, we'll, we'll get you right into it and we'll, get, we'll show it to you guys. But first review, non-alcoholic beer. Okay, so, um, let's see. Should I say that I already had this? Um, the other day, I was at a, uh, a high school reunion type of thing for a, a basketball coach of ours. Uh, he was retiring and we had like a little basketball game and then a reception after. And then I just wanted a, like a light beer, so I'm like, oh, I'll take a Bex, not knowing that it's non-alcoholic. I drank the whole thing, and then I looked, non-alcoholic, I was like, that actually fooled me. This thing actually tastes like a very light beer, and I could not believe that there's no alcohol in here. So, I'm happy, I like this. Good job, Bex. Good job. Science! <laughs> Alright, so uh, we're gonna pull the car in. Uh, we're gonna go over whatever Kev needs to show you, and then, oh, sorry, not Kev. Triple quad, triple quad, triple quad, triple quad. Is gonna, uh, triple quad. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna show you whatever needs to be shown, and uh, yeah, let's so. get the show on the road. Please uh, excuse my dirty uh, floor. Uh, haven't had time to pressure wash it. So, what are we starting off here with, Kev? By the way, black one goes in wife's car. She uh, demanded the white one or the black one. The the black one. What did the I black say? Black one. I pointed at the black, but I said white. No, I probably just didn't hear you properly. Okay, yeah, black one okay. in wife's car. So we've got obviously we got the seat itself, and we've got two bases. Out of the box, you get one base and the seat. If you want a second base, you got to buy it separately. Uh, one base per car. That's the way it works. Um, a lot of people are get very confused. Why get a bucket seat when I can buy car seats? Um, that are uh, four in one convertible. Uh, I don't need to, this way, I can put them directly as an infant all the way to a toddler in one seat. Uh, what's the purpose of having a bucket seat? There are so many right answers, there are so many wrong answers. I can just simply tell you my opinion when a baby sleeps, you don't wake him. So when he's in the car, passed out with a bucket seat, you lift him with the bucket seat and you leave. When if he's Tied into the seat, you have to wake the child or the, the, the baby. So uh, it's just easier to maneuver with the baby when they sleep because you never know when they're going to pass out. And they don't have scheduled nap times when they're young, so on and so forth. So bucket seat is very practical. And it's very safe. Uh, it's our preference as a family. And if you're watching this video, you've probably agreed. If you're looking for reviews, should I buy a bucket seat and then buy a, another seat later? Shoppers Therapy's recommendation is yes. So uh, this is the bucket seat. This is the base. We're gonna get the show on the road. Uh, the type of installations you can do with these, with the, with both of these types of uh, all types of car seats is either UAS type installation or seat belt um, installation. All modern cars come with UAS. If you're driving an older vehicle that has a seatbelt installation, uh, this video is not for you because I'm not doing the seatbelt installation today. I'm just doing the UAS installation and how to do it and how to do it properly because a lot of people um, tend to install a little bit too loose 
and don't understand or, or it's not too tight that the actual unit's not leveled and it's floating. So let's do this. Where to install it? Well, typically most households, uh, it's always a single driver uh, looking at the baby. So your preference is to do it on the passenger side rear and so that the passenger, the driver from the rear view mirror can see the reversing mirror that's installed, which uh, Zamboss will show later over here. So you can constantly watch your baby as you're driving. So here we go. Hello. I'm going to take my hat off today just because it's in the car and it's dark. Um, on the Maxi Cozy AP, some a lot of models don't have this. This particular model has it. It has a leveling functionality. What does that mean? If I flip this upside down and the latch button here, if you see, this part goes up and goes down, up and down. It's to help with the inclines of the seat. So, uh, oh, we lost some light. Hold on. That's it. There you go, now we're back. It's to help with the incline of the seats. Um, so look, as you can see here, the bucket seat is pretty much um, on a slight incline. So if I wanted to give it an adjustment, I can and, and make it a little bit straighter or not, or you don't want it to be inclining completely this way either. Most people never use it. They just install it as is. The instruction manual doesn't be specific. Um, to me, very simple. My logic dictates that if I can strap it in tightly in your vehicle without me needing to make any adjustments, I simply just don't do the adjustment. But if I'm strapping it in and I'm seeing it floating, right, then I'll make the adjustment. Then I'll make the adjustment so that I can level it a little bit straighter so I can get a better grip on the seat itself. That's my suggestion. So it's very car specific. So for now, flat down all the way. All right, sorry about that. Okay, here's the straps, very simple. The UAS clips on a lot of the cars, you'll notice a little like a uh, symbol says, see, car not here. It's usually either in between inside here or there's some clips. So we gotta look for it on this car. Okay, YouTube, so if you look here, sometimes some cars, there's like a little black clip, you gotta pop it open. In fact, my car has it, and maybe I can show you guys later. In this case, if I if I just lift this, uh, you'll notice here, there's a big metal rod, and on the other side, same thing, big metal rod. The point of this is very simple. All car manufacturers have made it standard for exactly this purpose. I'll show you one example. Guys, we're, I'm really sorry about the lighting. This is uh, on the on the future list of things to get is proper lighting for the videos, but we are making do with what we have, and and it's the quality of the of the content and not the uh, the quality of the of the video recording, right? That's right. What's important is it's done right. There you go. See? So you just snap it in like a seat belt pretty much. Yeah, and then now it will never come off unless you press the red button and you pull it up. So that's the, the whole idea. Snap, and that's it. So, to set it up, sorry. To set it up, let's put the bucket seat in its place. You're gonna have to pass the strap, the strap with the buckle to tighten will go on this side, okay? This one will stay on this side. The, the, the clips, you know how it's written safeguard or whatnot? Don't put it upside down. Always put it the right way. So here, I'll lift and I'll clip. This one's clipped on. The key here is make sure your strap is straight at all times. You don't want it twisted or any of that. You want your strap nice and straight. Okay, same thing here. Take this guy. 
lift this up. Clipped on. Okay, so. Look what I'm doing. I'm just simply taking it, taking it, taking it, right? Now, what you do is you pull this strap in. Okay? So you can start the tightening process. Okay? Now, what I like to do is I use my left hand. I apply a lot of pressure and I start pulling. Pulling. Nice and tight. Then... I get rid of my, my slack so it doesn't interfere with my bucket seat after. Okay. What you're supposed to be getting is a maximum of two inches of movement. That's it. Two inches of movement. This kind of slack is a little bit looser than I'd like it to be. Because on this side, you see? Yeah. Definitely more on that side than this side. So, Again, pressure, lift, and tighten. Now we check. So you see, I don't have that two inches anymore. I don't have that big three, four inch gap anymore of looseness. It's as, it's as very tight. And believe it or not, that's it. There's nothing else to install. So simple. So all simple. See? Now, you're worried about this? This is normal for bucket seats. And any rear facing seat, this is normal. You don't need to worry about this. This is 100% normal. Now the micro AP, which is coming. We'll then clip on here. Now you'll notice it won't clip because of the front seat. Oh, the front seat's too back. Too back, exactly. Voila. And that's it. Little baby Zamba is gonna be here soon. <laughs> I'm actually uh, two weeks away. That's it. Bucket seat, Maxi Cozy AP, install, baby. That's it. I'm gonna show people how to detach it. Yeah, so how to remove the micro Maxi Cozy is very simple. I like to do is on each side there's a latch here. Yeah. That helps it come forward. And then there's a one latch here in the back. Hold on. Right here, on the top here. Where? Oh, yeah, I see. There we go. I press that. Now this guy comes right off. So as I said, if your baby's asleep or uh, uh, or whatnot, you can just pull them out and walk away. Right? Yep. If you live in a cold place, you bundle them in. You bundle them in. It's hot. It's warm. You take the bucket seat, you cover him, you snap him into a warm car. You're not physically carrying an infant and trying to strap him into a car while you're outside. That's why bucket seats are very convenient for infants. Uh, even from the, from, from the coming home from the hospital perspective, you can bring this upstairs when you're ready to move and go to the car to go home. You can strap him in and go home. So uh, I highly recommend the bucket seat. So now we'll just, we'll get out of the car now. We'll just show you a little bit quickly how to how to maneuver with the bucket seat. All right. So. Boom. 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 That's how the baby straps in, right? Yeah. Um, so you have different layers. One, two, three, four. Obviously your infant's going to be at the lowest one. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to help uh, Mr. Zambos. Right now we'll make this necessary adjustment, even this should be moved down. So this is a perfect example of what we can do. So let's flip it. So I flip it upside down. Back. It's so simple. So simple. So simple, even you can do it, YouTube. 
drop out. Let's drop out. Right. It seems a little simpler than the uh, the one we did of of these. Mm -hmm. Trying to get those things through. Well, everything has its own positives and negatives. So just take it out, pass it through. That's it. Take it out. Pass it through. This is why I'm a fan of the Mexicosi. I'd like to take this opportunity to uh, give a little shout out to my uh, brother and sister-in-law for lending us this maxi cozy because they do not need it. So I saved myself a little bit of money. Voila. That's one. Second. Let's go see. This is what we want to adjust next, which is this person, this guy right here. So I'll show you which one it is. You'll notice it's down here comes right off you have to pull pull it comes out and if you see check it out YouTube it's as simple as that there and put it a little higher and then back through the same hole Boop. actually the bottom one, even though you raised it up, the uh, it wasn't installed properly before. Oh, shout out to your brother-in-law. It's supposed to go on the bottom one. Yeah, yeah. Uh, no, you see, we want to move it closer up. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So it should have been installed like this. Okay. Right. When it, before yeah. it was installed, this it was on the on the top one here, but a lower one on that side. Exactly. When it should have been top top. Exactly. And now it should be bottom bottom. Yeah, but nice, nice to know my uh, niece and nephew were were strapped in quite securely. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So top hole here for top hole. That's it. On the inside. And you make the necessary adjustments uh, based on the you know weight of the baby and yeah. so on. Now for this, here's your little this should be coming out of here. Mm -hmm. That's to tighten it. See, and that's how you tighten it. And then we're done. And you can make the adjustments at the hospital or whatnot if needed. Oh yeah. my god. Yeah. My child is gonna have to rely on my seatbelt fastening <laughs> skills. That's it. Now for the maxi cozy, washing it is so simple. Yeah. You know what? This is where I liked the Nuna very much. Is like I felt like the clips to hold this on the back was a lot more just secure for this piece than what this is because I feel like there's like nothing holding on here except for maybe these two corners so this is just a cushion for the comfort of your child yeah, right? I don't want I don't want it to go flying so he can't go flying because his weight okay it's, it's, his weight on it and it's strapped with the straps right but you see this is what keeps him secure right this is what keeps him secure yeah so if I would to, to all YouTube you see here I'm done. Once I take the straps out, mm -hmm. this thing comes right off and you throw it in the wash. And you clean it. And that's all it is. It's as simple as that. Unlike some other models where it get, it's a lot more complicated to remove. Some of them you have to unscrew. Some of them you have to do. This is just, just all clips, all clips, all clips. So, it's, it's, a, it's a great design. I personally like it. Um, yeah, see, these are like the two clips I'm talking about that hold it all down. Yeah. But I guess, yeah, you're right. You're like, you have the seat belt in here that That's what will keeps hold. it secure, exactly. That's what's keeping everything secure. This is just uh, comfort. So, you see, niveau avec le sol, level to the ground, so that, so, when you put your bucket seat, uh, YouTube, when you install your bucket seat and you put, when you install the base and you put the bucket seat, 
if if really I'll show you guys right now. I should have showed it to you during, during the install and I forgot to be honest with you. But I'll show it to you now just to just to say you guys know about it and saw it. Here, come with me. So it's saying this should be leveled to the ground. So if your seat is extremely inclined, right, then you use that adjuster that I showed you to make sure that this yeah. leveler, it doesn't need to be perfect. Don't get your level out and start leveling. Is it really level, not leveled? Is my seat, no. Like don't panic. It's just, it really, your, your, your bucket seats like this, or like this compared to the ground, then use that underneath adjuster to make it uh, more level to the ground. That's all. But like I said, it's 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 a lot of the um, bucket seat uh, models uh, outside of the Max Cozy don't even have that adjuster. This is just a convenient feature that they've added. So that's it for the Maxi Cozy and installing it. It's as simple as that. Um, they we're gonna tune out and I'm gonna tune back in because I want to just let you know the ratings of child ratings uh, for this bucket seat. I think. Uh, it's up to 20 I'm gonna just double check we'll tune back in let you know about that and uh, we'll see you soon What's up YouTube? All right uh, So as I said, we'll be back just to give you a few more information So the bucket seat weighs eight and a half pounds, okay? Um, the specs on it is uh, the infant should be between 5 pounds and up to maximum 22 pounds. Past 22 pounds, he's graduated to a rear facing seat, a uh, full seat, uh, like a, a, a you know, typical car seats that you know of. Uh, 22 pounds, 5 to 22 pounds. So at 8.7 plus 22. So now you're looking at a maximum of, let's say, 20, uh, almost 30 pounds that you'll be carrying on the bucket seat, assuming that you're, you're extending the life of the bucket seat at its maximum, right? Typically, by 18 pounds, 20 pounds, 17 pounds, you start uh, graduating into the infant seat, into the, 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 the bigger car seats, only because you start noticing that he's looking pretty uh, tight. In there and you want to show them a little bit more comfort like we were in our clothes a couple months ago <laughs> <laughs> exactly exactly if you guys are asking why we're so late doing our YouTube we want to look good on our next video uh, so that's it that's it for the maxi cozy that's it for bucket seats that's choppers therapies review triple quad, triple quad. We, we, we forgot Animals. about something I, I had oh. put in the car before yes, that yes, I, yes. I didn't know and uh, triple quad uh, no, told me that uh, it's not a suggested uh, so Thing. I thought these were good for, for bucket seats and car seats. Um, they're little like mats so that you don't get your seat dirty and, and all like... Uh, yeah, so like be, the, you don't install these with bucket seats and you don't install these with rear facing seats. You only install these with forward facing seats. Um, so uh, why is that? Very simply, you know how I lifted the... Um, the bucket seat from the front there's no anchorage down you don't want to add any additional elements to the seat that can cause it to move off its place because it's not completely anchored down so you don't use these on uh, bucket seats or rear facing seats you only use these once you're you're you're, you're in a full size forward facing seats the more you know the more you know that's it so again guys uh, shoppers therapies take bucket seats are really important I like them uh, like I said it's very convenient you don't know how many times it's bailed us out uh, especially in colder countries like where we are um, again you're driving he passes out pick up the bucket seat you go the carriage at the at the shopping center you can put the bucket seat directly onto the onto the carriage and it's fine you don't need to take out your stroller uh, you're doing quick errands. You don't need. You don't need to struggle. Where am I going to put the baby? 
you can just carry them with you and everywhere you go and so on and so on. And is it fair to say that a lot of these bucket seats have adapters for most strollers? So you yes, can absolutely. take this, like yeah. we have this, we have adapters for our uh, upper up baby, baby. Yeah. so that we can just take this out of the car into the upper baby stroller. That's it. Yeah, that, 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 uh, yeah. Most of, a, lot of the, a lot of the bucket seats make adapters for different types of uh, uh, strollers. So that's it for the Micro AP. Micro AP. Micro AP camera. <laughs> uh, all right, so that's, uh, that's another episode brought to you by us. Um, thanks Where's everyone for the support. Your cap, your cap is in the car. Um, I just want to say thanks for all the support for everyone that's been subbing to the channel. Honestly, we never expected anyone to sub. We're just like, let's do this for fun. That's right. And uh, we really appreciate it that you guys are sticking around. And all the comments. Yeah, super big shout nice out comments. to those comments, man. Yeah. All, all you guys out there, love the encouragement. Thank yeah. you. Uh, for all your haters, thank you for not showing up. I really appreciate it. So far, yeah, no haters. That's good. <laughs> um, and I know we've had a couple requests for some like baby cameras and stuff, and we're trying to get that lined up. Uh, yeah. So if there's any stuff you guys want us to do on here more of, please let us know because yeah, we really enjoy doing this, and like it gives us an excuse to actually like book dates and and, and do hang this out, stuff. good yeah. friends. Give the give the you know give the world our knowledge based on our experiences and, and our mistakes. You know, I spent my money. I've done mistakes. Let, let this be, you know, a way for you guys not to do the same mistakes yeah. twice. It's fun to have dads on videos too, not just like moms <laughs> reviewing all like the baby stuff. Well, um, uh, most of the time, honestly, uh, at least in my circle, it's always the dads installing these car seats. And I get the call, Kev, how do I do this? What do we do this? Uh, you know, so let's do the videos. We're going to make it happen. The next few ones are all about how to install car seats. Yeah. So stay tuned. Next one should be up next. Shoppers Therapy, out. <laughs>